Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about multiplying and dividing radicals with different order or index. So before we start, I would like to recommend that you need you watch our video regarding simplifying radicals, adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing radicals in our description box. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at ihit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. We have your example number one. We have the given radicals. The fourth root of four times the cube root of two. Basically guys, if you're multiplying radicals, for you to multiply them, kailangan parehas sila ng index or parehas ng order. Okay? They have the same order or they have the same index. So in this case, in example number one, we have the fourth root of four and the cube root of two, wherein they have the different index. We have four and three. So the question here, so how do we simplify or how do we multiply this kind of radicals with different order or different index? So basically, I will show you two different ways on how to do it. And I hope na matutunan nyo yung topic natin or yung discussion natin in our today's discussion. So let's start with the first method. So let's have method number one. Method number one. First thing you need to do is to transform this radical into an expression with rational exponent. Meaning, kailangan natin siyang transform na meron siyang exponent na fraction. So what is the equivalent, equivalent expression with rational exponent ng 4 to 2, 4? We have 4 raised to 1 over 4. Sir, saan ang galing 1 over 4? Yung 4 natin, here in our exponent, it came from the index of the original radical. And then your 1 in the numerator is the exponent of your radicand. So basically, that is the, ex that is the um, expression equivalent to that radical. And for this radical, to convert it, so you have 2 times 2 raised to 1 over 3. So as you can see, they have different denominators on an exponent. All we need to do in this method number 1, again, first step, transform it to expression with rational exponent. And next, kailangan natin gawing same yung denominator nila. Sir, paano? So, the LCM of 4 and 3 is 12. Because we have 3, 6, 9, 12. And then, 4, 8, and 12. That is their LCM. So, kailangan natin gawing 12 yung denominator. So, we need to multiply. So, for copy lang muna natin. We have 1 over 4. We need to multiply the exponent by... 3 over 3. By multiplying 3 over 3, yung denominator ng inyong exponent, it will become 12. Brain ko lang tayo, natin ng konti. Okay. And then for the next expression, 2 raised to 1 third, to make your denominator 12, you need to multiply the fraction or the exponent by 4 over 4. So you have 1 over, sorry, 2 raised to 1 third, times 4 over 4. Do not worry kasi uh, though you are multiplying it by 3 over 3 and 4 over 4, the value will not change kasi yung 3 over 3 natin and 4 over 4 is the same as multiplying by 1. Okay? So simplify natin. You have 4 raised to 3 over 12. times 2 raised to 4 over 12. Ang next step natin dito, continue lang natin, is that ibalik natin siya sa pagiging radical expression. To convert this, this one is equivalent to the 12th root of 4 raised to 3. Okay? And then this one, we have times the 12 root of 2 
raised to 4. And as you can see, we can simplify them or we can multiply them because we have the same order or the same index right now. So basically, gagawin natin dito, you have the 12 root of 4 raised to 3 times 2 raised to 4. Pwede natin simplify yung 4 raised to 3 sa 2 raised to 4. Pwede rin naman natin siyang gawing exponential. So simplify muna natin ang 4 raised to 3. That is equivalent to 64 times 16. Tama? Kasi 4 times 4 is 8. As a 4 times 4 is 16, times 4, that will give you 64. And then the 2 raised to 4 natin is 2 times 2 times 2. That is 8 times 2, that will give you 16. And 64 times 16, that will give you, like this one, this number we have 6 times 4. This is 4, 24. 36, 38, and 1 times 4, that is 4, 1 times 6, 6. Adding them together, we have 4, 2, 1, 1024. So, buburay natin to. The correct answer here is... Sorry. We have here the 12th root of 1024. Tama ba tayo? Okay. 1,024. The 12th root of... 1,024. Okay. So let us start with the second method on how to do it. Try natin ha. Okay, tayo na line. So we have method number 2. For method number 2, ito naman medyo may exceed lang siya, but... Same concept lang naman siya. So basically, we have the given, the fourth root of 4 times the cube root of 2. So you need to observe your index, which is 4 and 3. And then, isipin mo lang, what is the LCM of 4 and 3? Sabi ko kanina, 12. You need to multiply this index by the number na kaya siya maging 12. So, for the 4th root of 4, ang gagawin natin dito, yung 4 natin na index ay simumultiply natin by 3. And then, itong 4 na to, yung radicand natin, yung exponent niya is 1, originally, imumultiply natin by 3 para maging equal. Times, this one is the cube root of 2, which is, we need to multiply the, the index of 3 by 4 to make it 12. And then, same din sa exponent ng iyong radikan na kailangan mo multiply by 4. So, simplifying those factors, it will give you the 12th root of 4 raised to 3 times the 12th root of 2 raised to 4. In which, etong expression na to ay makikita nyo rito. Pareha sila, ba? So, yun yung method number 2 natin. And simplifying it, it will give you the 12th root of 4 or 64, 64 na lang natin, gawin natin 64, times 16, and the final answer is the same, 12 root of 1024. Okay, para sila, ang method number 1 natin. Now, for item number 2, I'm giving you an example for dividing radicals, wherein we have, we have here the cube root of 3, over the square root of 3. So, kung mapansin nyo, the index are different. One is, one has the index of 2, and one has the index of 3. Or, in kailangan natin silang gawing 6. Tandaan, kailangan natin silang gawing 6. So, basically, guys, pwede nyo gawin yung method number 2 natin kanina. Tama, di ba? Method number 2. Where in, ang gagawin natin, yung cube root ng 3 natin, i-multiply natin by 2, yung index niya, para maging 6. Ito naman yung radicand natin with exponent of 1, i-multiply natin by 2. Over, for the denominator, ang index niya na yung invisible 2, i-multiply natin by 3. Same with the exponent of your radicand, kailangan natin siya i-multiply by 3. So as you can see, 
Pag sinimplify natin to, it will give you the sixth root of 3 squared over the sixth root of 3 cubed. We're in, mapansin nyo, hindi pa natin pwede itong i-accept as final answer because your denominator has the radical sign. So, by rationalization, you need to multiply it by the sixth root of 3 raised to 3 over the sixth root of 3 raised to 3. Sir, bakit po 3 raised to 3? Kasi kung mapansin nyo, diba, pag minultiply nyo itong dalawang to, it will give you 3 raised to 6. Na kung saan pwede nyo nang may eliminate yung radical. So, multiplying them, it will give you the sixth root of, yung numerator natin, it will become 3 raised to 5 over the sixth root of 3 raised to 6. At since parehas yung kanilang exponent at yung index natin, cancel, cancel. So, the correct answer here is simply the sixth root of 3 raised to 5 over 3. At kailangan pa tayong simplify. That is equivalent to the sixth root of 243 over 3. This is the correct answer for item number 2. So, I hope sa ating tutorial ay natutunan nyo kung paano mag-multiply or mag-divide ng mga radicals with different order or index. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!